Ever since Adobe announced the new color profiles inside of Lightroom and in Camera Raw, I've had a ton of people ask me, hey, how do I create my own profiles? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Hey, this is Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe, um, the best place to learn Photoshop is at photoshopcafe.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to us right here on YouTube. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to create two types of color profiles. I'm going to show you how to create the basic profiles and I'm going to show you how to create enhanced profiles. They're going to work instead of Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC and Camera Raw. So here we go. I'm just going to open this picture. This is a raw file, so this is going to open us directly into Camera Raw. Uh, if you just opened a TIFF or a JPEG, just go into edit as camera raw as a filter and you can go in here. Now, one thing you need to have Photoshop CC in order to do this. You cannot create these color profiles directly from Lightroom. It has to be the latest version of camera raw, which is 10.3 or above. All right, so this is a photo that was taken directly out of camera. I'm going to give you five seconds. I'm going to show you what the profiles are. I'm not going to go in depth here. So if we see under the profiles, we click here and we've got these different profile sets. And this is what I'm going to show you how to create. And here's one I made from Photoshop, you know, from Photoshop Cafe. So if I click on here, we can adjust the amount here and get this incredible color toning very, very easily. OK, so I'm just going to close that out right now and I'm going to reset this image. Now, I'm not going into depth in those. If you want to check that out, I've got another tutorial that I did yesterday where I go in depth and I show you all the ins and outs of using profiles and how to install them. So I'm not even going to show you how to install them. I'm just going to show you how to create them starting right now. So here's a raw file. Let's do a basic adjustment. So why don't we um, open up maybe our curves? Let's go into some curves here and we're going to do some adjustments in here. We'll go into the point curve. And I'm just going to drop down our shadows and we're just going to kind of just just play around. I'm just doing some changes. Let's go into the blue channel, maybe. And we're going to add a little blue into the shadows and maybe we're going to add a little red into the highlights. So we're just kind of creating some. It doesn't have to look good at this point. I just want to show you how, to, how it works. So we've got that. Let's go back to our basics. And basically, you know, this is what we've got here. If we look at this before. And after I've just kind of created some kind of a, an adjustment. So do your adjustments. And then what we're going to do now is to create a profile. What we need to do is go over here into our presets um, right there inside of camera raw. And I'm just going to close these down for a sec. I've got tons of them. So now instead of clicking on here, because if we do, we get to create a new preset. Here's the secret squirrel handshake. Hold down the alt or the option key and now click on here and notice you get to create a profile. So I'm just going to call this one softy and we're going to put it under the set. I'm going to put it under the Photoshop cafe set and you can see the treatment is being used. That's what we did is we changed the basic and the point curves. So those are being there. If we only wanted to change one and not the other, we could turn that on or off. Now uh, there's more things to talk about lookup tables and all that stuff. We'll get to that in a second. And then we just simply click OK. And if you go back under here now and we go under there we go under the Photoshop cafe one and we scroll down look at that there's softy so if I was to reset this image and we go down here into the profile it's that simple so if you want to learn you know how to load these and save them and all that check out my other tutorial um, okay so now I'm going to show you something a little bit more further than this so I'm just going to undo this here I'm just going to hit alt option just to reset that and I'm just going to click on open image and I'm just going to start from Photoshop. So now we're going to create a enhanced um, color profile. And this is where it gets like super good because this is stuff you could never, ever do in Lightroom before. I'm talking about the type of adjustments. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply an adjustment that we can't do in Lightroom. And let's go down and we'll choose a gradient map. By the way, if you don't know how to use gradient maps, I've got another full tutorial on it. I'm going to put the link in the show notes underneath for you. And let's click on here and we're just going to grab some kind of a, you know, a color gradient, not that one that looks horrible. Uh, let's go for something kind of warmer. That's kind of nice, but not yet, but give it a second. So we're going to take the opacity all the way down and then we're just going to bring it up a little bit to kind of give it that warm kind of a sense. Looks kind of cool. All right. So let's give it a curve. So we're going to apply in a curve adjustment here and I'm going to give it a, some contrast. So the way to do that is just take the shadows, pull them down a little bit, looking nice. Take the highlights, pop them up. We can go for kind of a higher contrast there. 
and if we look before and after we've made some adjustments there okay so i just kind of wanted to show you it doesn't really matter what adjustments we're doing because this is the steps we're going to take from here on out so now what we're going to do is we are going to go under file export and now what we want to do is we want to export color lookup tables and these are the LUTs now the grid points you want to keep in about 32 is fine and we want to do 3d LUT all this don't worry about all that right now I'm just going to click OK and where do I want to save this I'm going to drop it to the same location here and I'm going to call this LUT one uh, testy I know I'm terrible with the names today <laughs> so we're going to call this a testy LUT and we've saved it all right excellent so why don't we just reset our image so I'm just going to take these two layers and just hit delete. So there's our original image and let's go into camera raw. So we're going to choose camera raw filter. And now we want to create a color profile that's using these LUTs. And this is pretty epic because we could never, ever do this. So we're not going to adjust any of these. We're just going to leave them as they are. And we're going to go over here and we're going to hold down alt or option. Click on here to create this. And, you know, we're going to put the set under Photoshop Cafe and we'll call it Testy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrible name. Terrible name. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to load a color lookup table. And we're just going to go under here and we'll see the one we just added in here. And it's called Testy. There it is. Grab the cube or the 3DL. Doesn't really matter. And I'm going to load it in. And I'm going to click OK. That's it. We're done. We've now created the profile. Let's test it out. We go in here, we're gonna grab our color profiles, go down to Photoshop Cafe, and there it is, there's Testy. And I can click on that now, and I can reduce the amount, or I can enhance it even more. All right, guys, I did mention Lightroom. So here we are, we're inside of Lightroom now, and check this out. If we go under our color profiles, go down to Photoshop Cafe, scroll all the way down there, look at that. Here we go, there's our Testy, there's our Softy, there's our Underworld, all these different ones. So we're there, and let's just drop the amount down, make it look a little bit better. There we go, great. And by the way, if you guys want this preset pack, in the comments underneath is the download link. Check it out, grab it now for free. And so what do you guys think? Is this like the most incredible thing to happen to imaging inside of Photoshop and Lightroom for years? If you agree, add a comment underneath and, and tell me what you think. Um, just say yes or no, or um, you know, expand on it. What do you guys think about this? It blows my socks off. By the way, if you like this video, smash the like button and share this with all of your friends. Um, everybody really needs to know how to do this. And if you're not already a subscriber, you're new here, why don't you consider hitting the subscribe button right now and the little notification bell and you'll get a new tutorial like this every single week. So thanks guys. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.